In this repair video, we're going to be working on the 2021 MacBook Pro. Customer brought this in yesterday. We were actually closed and he knocked on the door a couple of times and I opened up for him. He drove from maybe 30, 40 minutes away. He found us on YouTube and he told me that this laptop, he thinks this laptop suffered liquid damage. Now the laptop is still under warranty. Customer took this laptop to the Apple store and Apple told him that they cannot work on it because it's liquid damaged. We opened up the cover and honestly, there are no signs of liquid anywhere on this MacBook. Absolutely no signs of liquid anywhere on this MacBook. And we removed the motherboard and also no signs of liquid anywhere on the motherboard. Now the fact that the customer told Apple that he thinks he spilled liquid on it, they just assumed that this laptop is liquid damaged and they refused warranty. Apple did not remove the motherboard of the casing and Apple could not have known that this laptop is liquid damaged. Now we're gonna take a look at the board. I just wanna see if in fact we do have any corrosion or any liquid damage on that board. I did inspect the board with the naked eye but I did not find anything obvious. But it's a different story when we look at this board under the microscope. The board is mint. Nothing. No signs of liquid damage anywhere on the board. And no signs of liquid damage on the housing of the laptop, inside the housing. No red sensors anywhere on the board. No liquid spill at all. I see corrosion here at the Wi-Fi Bluetooth IC. But I do not think those caps were corroded because of liquid. I do not see any signs of liquid anywhere in this area. What you see here is just an overfill, but no signs of liquid. I do see a corroded cap here, one here, and possibly these two. Look at this one. I do see some scratch marks here, and I do not know how those came about. And I do see a lot here. Hmm. I do not know if that motherboard was removed before, or possibly cleaned. I see a lot of scuffs here. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I mean, the board being like this, you cannot tell if there is liquid damage anywhere on the computer. The back is super clean, but we do not know if this board was removed before because I see scuffs around the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. Anyway, let's continue with physical inspection. Now, the customer is basically concerned about the files. He has some important tax files for a client and he really need the files. Whether we can fix this laptop or not, he's only concerned about the files. But of course, if we can fix the laptop, then he gets both the laptop and the files. So right now I see nothing wrong with this motherboard except for the corroded capacitors next to the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. And we see one, two, three, four, that look really bad. Like this one here. One end is totally gone. Corroded, corroded, and corroded. Let's measure in continuity mode to see if we have a short 
on those capacitors. And we have a short here. And we have a short here. And we also have a short here. Wow. And we cannot test this end because it's totally worn off. I think the first thing I'm going to do is remove those four caps. If we still have a short, then we're going to remove this Wi-Fi chip. But I doubt that liquid went under the Wi-Fi chip. It's protected. And it's hard for liquid to go inside. So it has to be one of those four caps. I'm going to start with those two. And then we'll go over those two here. So maybe I'll start with the one on the bottom right. All right. Now let's see if we still have a short. Meter in diode mode. And the short is gone. Look at that. The short is gone. What about the top ones? Do you still have a short here? And the short is gone. Yeah, we're good. So we started out with the right capacitors and that solved the problem. We no longer have a short. Great, great. Now those are bypass capacitors. So I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure Wi-Fi is still going to work even with those caps off. And we are done. We are done. I'm going to give this board to Big Boss to reassemble and test and I'll be back. All right. So we reassembled the MacBook and the MacBook is fully functional with exception. The screen is damaged. If you look at the bottom part of the screen here, we do see possibly signs of liquid because of the way the backlight is looking and we have a lot of lines on the screen. We're going to have to connect this to an external monitor and we're going to start backing up the files. We're going to back up the files to this USB flash drive. We're going to call the customer to come and pick up and we're going to let the customer know that he has a damaged screen. If the customer wants us to replace it, we will go ahead and do it for an additional cost for replacing the screen. But otherwise, the customer can just come and pick up the laptop as is and the files. Customer is going to be very happy because he has his client files on the laptop. And of course, we are happy because we fixed this laptop. Everybody's happy. And just before we end the video, I want to give away $50 just like we did last week. Last week, I gave $50 to a random commenter. And when was that? Uh, June 22nd. And the winner was China. She was a girl from India. And honestly, I had a hard time sending over the $50 to China because she did not have a PayPal account. She said that her dad has Google Pay. So we tried to send the money from our Google Pay account to her dad's Google Pay account. But Google Pay only sends via Western Union if we are trying to send money over to India. So we said, OK, Western Union. And then Western Union needed all the information, address, phone number, email. We contacted China's dad and we got his information. We put the information in and our bank blocked the money from going to his account. We're going to have to call the bank and tell him that it's OK to send that money to India. Or otherwise, I have to personally go to a Western Union shop and send that money over. So if you are a person who won and you are from India or let's say Bangladesh or Pakistan or any one of the less fortunate countries, it would help if you have a PayPal account. If you do not have a PayPal account, then right now I think the only option would be to send you the money via Western Union. I mean, I do not mind taking some time off to go to a Western Union shop and send that money over to you, especially if I know that you are from a less fortunate country. But right now I'm not choosing between a rich person or a poor person, black or white, gray or green, or whatever the case may be. I'm just picking a person at random and that person must be a subscriber to the channel. And whoever's name shows up on the screen will be the winner of that $50. If you want the $50 and you feel like you do not need it and you want to pass it over or pass it on to somebody less fortunate, you can let us know and we would pick somebody from those less fortunate countries and send it over to him. But if you do not want to do that, the $50 is yours 
and all we can tell you is congratulations. You won it fair and square. I'm trying to do this more often, and honestly, the support that we get from our viewers is overwhelming. I mean, let me show you this quick. Every single day, we get donations from random people just thanking us for our videos. See if we open up the email. Let me search for You've Got Money because when people donate via PayPal, we get an email from PayPal with the subject, You've Got Money. Okay, You've Got Money. We got money from Florian, $20. Thomas, $22. Michael, $10. Dennis, $20. Charles, $29. Paul, $5. AA Device Repair Shop, we got $50. Uh, $3, 12, 20, 15, 5, 5, 30, 50, 60, and the list goes on and on and on. I want to thank each and every one of you who donated, and I want to pass on some of those donations. I want to try to do this more often. A lot of people ask if we have a Patreon account, and we do not, but maybe we should. Maybe we should, and whatever donations we get, maybe we can pass it on to our viewers. Maybe instead of doing weekly giveaway, we can do daily giveaway. Let's read some of the comments from people who donated. A little donation. Your videos helped me a lot. I ruined a Garmin Edge in a USB port repair attempt. And after watching your videos and honing my skills, I was able to diagnose and repair all of my damage done, including repair of ripped pads and restored trace. Thank you for showing the bad cases and doing repair attempts. That seriously encouraged me to learn new skills. Awesome. Thank you for sharing your valuable experience, thoughts, insights, equipment list on YouTube for everyone. Greetings from Germany, from a junior developer. Thank you for your YouTube repair channel. Thanks for the videos, $50. Thank you very much for your informative videos. I learned very much from you. Keep up the great work. I really appreciate it. Maybe if we go down here. Thanks for the fantastic tutorial video and great repair and service of my daughter's iPad Pro. You are very welcome, Dean. And now is the time to pick the winner and give away the $50. The last time we did the giveaway, it was on June 22nd. How many videos did we upload since? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We uploaded seven videos since the last giveaway. So I'm going to pick a video at random from one to seven, and then we're gonna pick a comment at random from that selected video. So we're gonna go to Google, and we're gonna type in random number between one to seven. And the number is four. So we're gonna pick the fourth video since the last giveaway. The last giveaway was on June 22nd. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four. We're gonna go to this video. And we're going to copy that link. And now we're going to go to a website called pickawinner.co. And we're going to paste that URL of the video. Fetch. And now include replies. Yes, we're going to include replies. Allow duplicates? No. So if you are a person who commented 10 times, 20 times, you're only going to be seen as one person. Okay? And continue. How many comments do we have on this video, including replies? 271. And the winner is Home Studios. Home Studios, congratulations. You won $50. You can contact us via our website, northridgefix.com. Click on contact and just leave us your PayPal email address if you have one or let us know how you would like to get paid. That's it. I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.